Travel is experiencing something unknown. Travel is being confronted with things we didn't expect and things we don't know. I mean, every day you have 500, 1,000 people on each side of Wagga. On Eid, the Pakistani guards take sweets to the Indian side. On Diwali, the Indian guards take sweets to the Pakistani side. They're, maybe they're even friends, I mean, but you wouldn't know it from the ceremony. People always say about Wagga that it's, it's very grand and it's, it's very unusual, but enjoyable ceremony. But I'm not so sure it's enjoyable because it's laced with aggression. The Wagga ceremony perpetuates this idea that hostility between these two countries is natural and actually enjoyable. And it's neither. Crossing the border was a very strange experience. You could walk through it in three minutes, but because you've got to hand over papers and you've got to have bags checked and you have to answer questions. It's not a three minute crossing, it's an hour crossing. After I crossed over from Pakistan, we drove to Pulkanji and we drove through the same fields we had seen in Pakistan, the same wheat fields, uh, except now we were in another country. It's dry and you feel the earth here. It's the sun and the heat and the dust. And I am struggling to find something different. I thought in a way it was going to be a really pleasant opportunity to see how similar two countries are. But I was wrong. It's a very sad journey. It's a very dark journey because they are the same place. It's one place that has been cut in half. I think the two countries have to find a way of speaking about their disagreements and their differences outside of violence. We're in the 21st century. There are millions of ways to talk to each other. I don't think we use them enough. We rely very heavily on conflict. My hope for India and Pakistan is that they see more of each other, is that Indians make the same journey and cross this border in order to see how small it is. And I have the same wish for Pakistan, that we grow closer until something like Wagga and the ceremony seems unneeded. <laughs>